Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle, this is part of the Wars of Gods and Men map campaign, hosted on the Slytherin forums by Cron and Black. In this match against Dieter, my Arab with Egyptian allies army is attacking Hebrews. So, I'm attacking from Jerusalem, 31, and I'm pushing into 32. So, I have the Arab with Egyptian allies army because I have repulsed Arab raids and not lost a battle since yet. So I can feel the Arabs. And I'm doing that, well, first of all, I'm attacking here is because once I seize both Hebrew territories, I can start fielding Egyptian with Hebrew allies. The Hebrews can fill in the main gaps in my army roster for Egypt, which are a lack of quality medium foot and a lack of a quantity of infantry skirmishers. So, at least the Arab with Egyptian allies list offers me skirmishers, so it does fill part of that gap. The downside is that uh, it does not offer quality medium foot, just quantity medium foot in the form of irregulars. Gross. Uh, so, Dieter will be fielding some pretty traditional units, heavy chariots with bow, camelry, but then a mass of medium foot that is actually pretty good quality. So we'll have to use a combination of some of our heavier Egyptian troops, backed by missile power, and a bunch of trash to try to overcome him, take this damn province, and then be able to field an actually decent army. So, here's what we've got. Maxed on Lightfoot and Archers and Chariots. Maxed on Defensive Spearmen and Hoplites. We grab the Light Javelin Horse. We have a total of seven units of Irregular Foot and five units of Arab cavalry with bows. So we're going to hold this ground, most likely. Push forward here. Maybe push forward here so that we can fight downhill or in the flat open. Don't really feel inclined to fight for this hill with topped by woods and surrounded by rough. Great, let's see what he's brought. A mass of skirmishers and everything you can get that's expensive so I think this is a good thing overall it's gonna get a little bit awkward for the camels and like we have numbers some irregular foot over to the flank. We need to at least get skirmish parity. I would love to win skirmishing war in general though. So we're going to try to fight for this ground. Maybe fight down slope here. I would like to beat his skirmishers and shoot up his cavalry and then close into the melee. Next turn. Okay. Let's keep shifting over. Past. 
suppose we can't contest that. All right, shift over then. So he's going to make a stand here. It's a strong position. You run. <sighs> now, shift over. Stretch the line, get our regulars over. very patient about engaging until our right wing has finally come up. Next turn. Good. We are absorbing ammo. We should be able to get away without getting fragged. Great, follow up. Here we can commence skirmishing. Why not hurt them a little more? Good.
maintain reserve. Okay, and again, we have to keep playing it cautious for the moment. Next turn. I assume he's just gonna withdraw back to this terrain after that initial exchange. These trees do make it more difficult, but at least it will disorder him if he tries to push us out of them. Got his own squishy, vulnerably regular foot too, so it's not just us. Okay, well, this that's great. You can just keep staying out of bow shot around, wasting everyone's time. Stationary shot, I'll take it. Good. Let's try to get more skirmishing momentum then. Hold firm. Okay. in the woods, of course. Well, that's what light jabs are for. Do you hesitate to come down off my ridge here? Good. Heavy, some support. The whole, yeah, the whole forest situation is concerning because the cover that it provides. But we do have more massed archers in the way, so maybe we can even things out. really annoying if we won the raid and lost this one. This is the one that actually matters. Okay. Next turn. Not going to be easy to win the shootout. Forty-eight point camelry. Because we're distracting them. Loose. Frag and a break. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. Frag and a break. 
it's going a disruption. I don't think we'll be able to take any advantage of it. Held firm. Shift over. Okay, you withdraw. Yeah, this is. Yeah, get out of the way. Withdraw. Forward and loose some arrows. Throw some javelins. It's fine. Good. It's so tempting to move forward, but the mass of infantry is too intimidating for now. Ah, hang back. More skirmishers forward. Heavy foot to fend off cavalry. And let's get our trash infantry forward to assist with any assault on the woods. It's not, it's not going well. We need to get a serious lead to be able to assault a position like this with any chance of success, and we don't have that. Okay, shootout continues. with you. Go for a frag. Break with the lights so we don't have to charge in with the camels. Good. Hang back. Casualties then. Tempting. Hold firm. Go for a frag. But what about a frag? Hmm. Fine. Lucky. Well. Around and get ready then. Heavies forward. Let's not be sitting downhill from that. Let's arc this bunch to the left. Maybe we can find an opening here. And shuffle back. I just, this slope situation, I do not trust. So otherwise, we'll have to wait and see how things develop. Again, could actually keep wasting time. So, uh, this looks impenetrable, but let's just keep working at it. Next turn. Let him go for the charge. Well, 
Well, he's feeling the pressure a little bit at least. Back. Gotta be close to auto breaking. I think it's worth risking the camels now. Good. Of course, the cohesion check. Could work with that. Well, you're in the full arc. Take a round of shooting. then. Good. Keep up this grind. Wait on that flank. Fine. Hoplites can take care of those light archers. <sighs> We're starting to gain some ascendancy in the skirmishing. I mean, at least we'll have one unit with full ammo left over. That's something. Otherwise, we're getting pretty damn low on arrows. Next turn. Alright, will he come out or just bring up the chariots to shoot at us instead? Uh, yeah, that. The camels are pretty squishy. Oh, they evaded off map. Too bad. Okay, we should be able to get a break there, though. them, please. Nobody in the forest. That's good. Why not... Uh, with those chariots having moved over, I think we can begin to attempt an advance here. We'll bring up our own heavy foot to support. Good. You need to rally still. What do we got here? Get out of danger. Shoot and shoot. We could charge the camels and end up somewhere bad, or we could sacrifice the irregular foot. They're kind of useless, anyways. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's see here. Go for a frag. How about it, though? Actually. Okay. If they evade, do we hit the frag horn? Well, that's one way to do it. 
Okay. Switch over to this high ground here as this infantry comes sweeping in. Go assist on that flank. foot over there, the irregular is assisting over here. Great. In the meantime then, Lusmeras, you're dead. a nice lead, but it's not as good as it looks because his best units are still intact, and the casualties we've inflicted is um, pretty much entirely on skirmishers. Uh, and the camelry is, as you can see, highly vulnerable to missile fire. Are you going to give me that hill? I would not mind. Right, this unit is blocking us and that makes it really annoying. So archers are a problem as well. We could attempt to disrupt with the camels, the master archers, and the javelin men. Assist and Egyptian spearmen. Then what? And the situation is not so rosy. You're dead. Too bad. Hopefully these disrupted lights rally soon. In the meantime, you keep forming up over there. I'm 
join this push, maybe we can try to arc around here and hit these guys from the side. Oh yeah. We might get pinned in there. Don't get pinned in. I mean, just try to absorb more ammo in time. It's fine. Just go for it. Alright. Next turn. You know, fading off map is totally okay by me. I uh, kind of figured that would happen. That's for the best. Definitely for the best. <laughs> yeah, they're screwed. Ah, uh, we finally got trapped. Okay, well, does this cause a frag? No. Ah, uh, what to do here? Everyone's on low ammo. Good. Uh, the whole slope situation is unfortunate, but we're going to just have to deal with it. This is not the best. Neither is that. Why don't you get out of the way, get there, set up that flank, zone them in, uh, here, pelt you with missiles, get up slope, you're just completely hosed. Away. Can come back later if we want to. You're screwed, right? I mean, no, there's really no rescuing them. Let's not even try. We have rough ground there. Extend. Spears I want there to protect the whole bunch. Right, so we need to hopefully break this, roll it. Just in case I have the movement points to go there, I don't think I do. Roll it and then hopefully destroy this sector, holding this hill and this hill if needed, and just avoiding contact with his best units. Other than, of course, these two, which could be a problem. Next turn. Unfortunate. Yes, 
Yes, we knew that was coming. Don't know. Can we reach there? Well, here. Close in. You are the worst, and I hate you. Fall back. Just work your way around. Now, push your way around. Good. Then, since we're unsure if we can get around, let's just do that. That's not bad. Then, Shoot a few arrows. Not that it does much good. Brave the impact. Okay. Good. Start working your way around. Go here. And casualties on the chariots, please. Occupy the forest, that's good. And you're very dead, we know this. Here, turn out of the way, shift over, move, fill in. And let's see, turn that way and start withdrawing, I think. You can take their place. Okay, it's going to be close. Next turn. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Deeply unfortunate. Just hold in place. Good. Well, first, we have to charge here. Great. You... Well, you're just gonna have to put up with getting shot at a bit. Interesting. Uh, let's pull you 
back here and zone in those chariots. Good. We're prepared to flank again. Keep shooting. Go for a freak general kill. I assume that does not happen. You need to hold firm. No one else does. Works out. Great. Loose some arrows and go for a crushing impact. Shift flanks in you go. Hmm. Hold your ground and Take that hill. Go hide in the marsh while you wait to rally. Good, push them off map. Now we can absorb some arrows. That's fine. That'll have to do for now. Hopefully we can just break this up soon before these camels come back. Next turn. Of course. Just stay alive. I mean, that's good too. Yeah, we'll slowly lose that. Grind them down. Damn it. And the camels are coming back. It's gonna set up a flank. At least it'll take time to do. Well, not that much time, huh? Interesting. It's fine, I just want to disrupt. Never mind. Here. Use some arrows. Might need you to force another check on that unit. In the event proves unnecessary. I want that auto drop. Get them in arc. What are we to do with you? Shift around. Need to preserve these skirmishers. So hide in the woods. Maybe you can bounce them off if you're lucky. You are not lucky. Ooh, 
Oof. The archers are in a tough spot. Even worth bothering to disrupt them, I don't think so. We're gonna lose this human anyway. It is what it is, and here. Loose some arrows at that armored superior unit. We're gonna need all the help we can get. There, and then you can start arcing around. What a mess. What a complete mess. We're up, but not enough. Next turn. Oh, that's just gonna make my life more difficult. Not a flank attack, so you started here. It leads to disruption. That was a proper flank. If I were him, I would have moved the camels here to disorder of chariots. Well. Yeah, that's. Interesting. If we hold impact, we should be fine in the melee. 
auto break. Yeah, everyone holds firm. That's fine, it's not an auto drop, and now he's disordered, so it should actually work out for me. Now we need a way to get at that unit to break it all over again. Well, it does keep these chariots locked into melee. Camels. do anything here. Let's see, he's sewing out the chariots. And loose some arrows. Not enough to drop their cohesion. Maybe we hop over here and just strive for it. Held firm. Okay. Well that could help if we break them. This unit's gonna get hit hard. We need to frag the chariots so that they can't pin first. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I go here. Here, shove them off. Great. Then hit the chariots for the frag. Okay. Problem partially solved. This unit breaks. Dropping our lead to 12. Now we have camels on the loose behind us. How's this? break them soon. You go hunt that unit. Should shove these off easily. They hold firm. Hmm. Unfortunately, no good way to rapidly shift over. We need to maybe find a way to get these archers flank that unit. That's worth a try. So I could decide to pin this unit, but then he would turn around and I would turn around and it's a whole thing. Oh hell, let's just do it. What could possibly go wrong? Now, here, huh, no. If I go here, uh huh, then I can go here. Okay, maybe we have a chance to gradually flank that unit. Maybe. They're gonna hopefully auto break soon. What a disaster. I really hope they don't rally again, but I think they will, being superior, and hopefully they keep running off because I really don't want them showing up behind me yet. Next turn, the predicted rally on the superior unit, unfortunately. bad. Go for that break. Good. And a frag. Excellent. Do it again. <laughs> now that is not a bad position to be in. Okay, good. Let's see. See if we can double drop them. No? 
How about you? There's 26 right there. Ooh, some arrows. Good, then threat of flank. Okay, excellent. You start working your way over and you as well. Zone them in. Shoot or drop? Let's just drop. Might have just done this thing. What else have we got? This melee ongoing. Damn. Okay. They're zoned now. You're zoned. Not bad. Pressure on the chariots, perhaps? Hmm. Camels are unprotected. That's probably the way to go. Fall back. Good. Okay. Hopefully that has done the trick. Okay, we've reached the end. See if anything happens in this phase. Nope. <sighs> well, I am very pleased with this. For one thing, this was not an easy position to assault, and we pulled it off. Thanks in part to the distraction of this sector here. Uh, more importantly, this is really nice for a campaign context. Uh, right now, I'm fielding the Arab with Egyptian allies list. I can only field that list because I defeated Arab raiders, and I have not lost a battle since then. <clears throat> but I am bound to lose a battle in this campaign eventually, and when I do, I lose access to this Arab list. That means I would be reliant on the native Egyptian list, which has... <clears throat> only irregular foot for mediums, which is so different from the Arabs, but also it relies for missiles on mast archers. Now, they're good for holding fixed positions like this and mowing down cavalry. Not so good for assaulting this sort of position where you need to get close to see who's home, and then while well, skirmishers can just scamper off, mast archers can't. So combined with the fact that the best Egyptian units are heavy foot, hoplites and heavy chariots had a pretty tough time assaulting a medium foot based army that could just camp the terrain. By conquering the second Hebrew territory I could now field Egyptian with Hebrew allies which can bring in some skirmishers and can bring in some Hebrew foot and Gibora. So a much more flexible army with which to further assault medium foot based armies. Now, I do have to be on the lookout. Uh, somebody could play a revolt and then use a Hebrew re rebel army to attack me, and if they win, then I lose control of the Hebrew province and lose access to the allies. I'll just have to camp really hard if that happens. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that I could be attacked on the frontier and lose control directly that way. So... Basically, I've gained one buffer state in its allied list. Now I need to gain a second one if possible to have some insurance that I won't lose access to good medium foot. So, good game to Dieter. Till next time.